thanks for tuning into We Repair Stuff. Um, I picked this PC up some time ago uh, with a view to repairing it for my mother-in-law because her PC is pretty dire. Um, picked it up off a local Facebook group uh, for not much money. It's a half decent spec HP, um, Core i3, a couple of gig of RAM. Uh, this, this, the person who was selling it listed it as a hard drive failure. So I thought, well, I've got some spares kicking around. Let's, let's have a go at repairing it. Um, so we'll get it on the bench and fire it up. So as you can see, pretty decent spec, as I say, it's a decent Core i3, it's pretty entry, entry level, but for what she's going to be using it for, it's fine. Just a bit of, sort of web browsing and word processing, kids only printing up the old picture of the grandkids, that sort of thing. Um, and as expected, I'm hoping it's just a hard drive. Yeah, it's just a hard drive failure. Um, so we'll, we'll fit a new drive in this without too much trouble at all and, and go from there. So in, in terms of fitting these, it should pretty much be pop the side off and, uh, and, and fit a new disc really straightforward. So um, we'll, we'll strip it down and take a look at it. Um, taking the hard drive, on the side of the, hard, the, the tower so far is absolutely fine. Um, we'll need to remove the front and then we should just be able to pop the CD drive up um, and, and remove the drive in theory. It should be that simple. Um, as I say, it's, it's, it's a very basic model. They designed them so that they're really easy to sort of strip down for the end user. Um, so we, we'll open it up and have a good look. Um, so far it looks fairly clean inside. Um, I can't see any obvious signs of, of things going wrong. Um, let's just have a quick look at the memory and make sure that's as expected. Exactly a couple of gig of RAM there. We'll I'll see if I can find some out of spares to upgrade that a little bit. So it's just a little bit quicker. Um, I'm expecting there to be a hard drive in here, hopefully. Uh, so we just get this fitted. So pop the uh, the power and SATA connections off for the CD drive. And um, yeah, great. We've got a hard drive and it is connected. So uh, that would say it's probably failed. Um, normally they fix these things in pretty well. So you've got to try and find the hidden screw when it's looking like there's one on the front of this machine. Um, so let's just pop it up and take a look. So yeah, as expected, uh, we've got a hidden screw on the front holding the drive in place. So that's moving absolutely fine now. Go release the drive, remove the SATA and power cables, and we'll just replace this one with one of my spares. Um, I've already got one uh, kicking around already, so we will we'll just pop a new drive in there. Um, so we've got um, a 640 gig Western Digital drive that I'm just going to pop in place of. Um, this is a 500 gig Seagate, which I don't particularly rate anyway. They tend to uh, to go wrong more often than not. Um, especially the lower end ones, the um, the enterprise drives are a little bit more robust. Um, so we've just got three screws on the side of this drive that we just need to transfer across, which shouldn't take too much effort at all. Hopefully they'll just come out nice and easy. and across to our new drive. So as I say, 640 gig WD, it's just a, a temporary one that I had kicking around, uh, but it will be fine for what we need. Let's get the three screws fitted back in again. And then we can get this drive fitted back in our PC. So that's all transferred over. And we've got our three screws ready to go now. So we will just pop that back into the computer. And uh, hopefully it will just be a question of plugging the cables back in and it will just fire up. And then the only other thing we need to do is reinstall the operating system. But 
we will do that in another video. So it's just remembering to put the drive back in upside down, um, otherwise it's not going to go in properly. And making sure there's enough slack for the cables and they don't get caught on anything. And just tilt the CD drive down a bit and we can um, pop those cables back in as well. Really straightforward. And then screw back in the front and then we can pop the front and the side back on. That's done. We just need to get the front back on now, which is just clips and hooks into the bottom and then just clips in at the top. And pop the side back on and that is us done. Nice and straightforward. So we will get this under our bench again and give it another test and see PCs all now plugged back in again. Um, so let's just get back into the computer setup menu. And that's great. We can see a hard drive there. So that's us done. So next video, um, I'll show you how to reinstall Windows and uh, then it'll be ready to go. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.